गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास फोर ई वी एस चिल्ड्रेन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टड चैप्टर फाइव फूड वी ईट इन आर प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स द सोर्सेस ऑफ फूड क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ फूड इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फूड एंड बैलेंस डाइट नाउ टूडे इन दिस वीडियो we are going to read the storage and preservation of food healthy eating habits before that we'll go through the topics which we discussed in the previous video in the previous video children we studied about food we eat why do we eat food we eat food to live food gives us energy this energy is used by the body to perform various activities such as walking playing jumping reading and various other activities we do in our day to day life or everyday life children this food which we eat is divided into various categories or the food groups we call also call it as nutrients mainly these nutrients are divided into five groups which are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals these are the nutrients which are required by the body to perform various activities so nutrients are the substance which we get from the food we eat now children we have already dis discussed about all these kinds of nutrients in our previous video so let us revise once again carbohydrates carbohydrates are energy giving food it gives energy to do all the physical work which we do through our body now children as we have studied the food taken should be according to the work we do and the age group to which we belong children and an adult need more carbohydrates than old people as the activity of old people are less than the activity done by the children and young people now next one is fat children we are just revising we have already studied all these in the previous chapter as we have the next nutrient is fats fats gives more energy than carbohydrates and also keep our body warm fats are required or needed in little amount by the body so when we eat more fat this extra fat is stored in our body for the later use or when the body does not get sufficient amount of food or the nutrient the body utilizes the stored food in our body oil butter ghee dry fruits are such food which are rich in fat nuts almond cashew nut ground nut also contain fat proteins as we know proteins are another important nutrients they also repair the damaged part of the body if we get hurt or we get wound or something like that that part is repaired or the he or healed by the protein now the body that is is why body uh, proteins are also called as body building food 
as it repairs the damaged part of the body it is also called the body building nutrient now children vitamins and minerals <coughs> vitamins and minerals are another important nutrient needed by the body to perform various activities as we know these are also needed by the body in small amount therefore these are also as they protect us from the diseases as it fights it helps in fighting diseases it is also called protective food some examples of vitamins and minerals are milk fruits and vegetable calcium is an important mineral that make our bones and teeth strong milk and milk products are full of calcium iron is also a mineral needed by our body it helps in making blood it is present in green leafy vegetables so we should eat lot of green vegetables so vitamins are also known as protective food they help our body fight from various diseases vitamins are needed in small amount by the body but it is also rich source of roughage which helps our body remove waste that is why it should be taken in large amount milk fruits vegetable contain sufficient amount of vitamins and minerals calcium is good for bones and teeth so we should eat lot of calcium to make our bones and teeth strong milk is another source of calcium milk and milk products are another source of calcium so we should take lot of calcium uh, milk in our diet iron iron is another important nutrient uh, mineral needed by our body it helps in making blood so iron is a mineral which helps in making blood in our body iron is present in all the green leafy vegetable so children now the main five nutrients are carbohydrates carbohydrates fats proteins vitamin vitamins and minerals now other than these nutrients there are few more things which has to be included in our diet these are water and roughage water and roughage are very important for the proper functioning of our body apart from these five nutrients our body also needs water and roughage water helps to remove our body waste that is the liquid waste in the form of sweat and urine so our body throws waste in two forms one is in the form solid form and in other is in the liquid form the liquid waste is thrown in the form of sweat and urine it also forms an important constituent of many parts of our body as we know water is also found in is important constituent of some of our um, body parts such as in blood you can find fruit uh, digestive juices also you can find so we know 70% of our body is made up of water now roughage roughage helps to clear our stomach regularly roughage is the 
fiber present in fruits and vegetables that is why while teaching while uh, studying about vitamins and minerals we discussed that we should take large amount of we should include large amount of fruits and vegetables in our diet so that we can fulfill the roughage uh, the need of roughage also from the fruits and vegetables now roughage is the fiber present in vegetables and fruit we should have plenty of water and salads to keep good health so children we should eat carbohydrates we should eat proteins fats vitamins and minerals as well as in addition to these nutrients we should also eat roughage and water as we know the carbohydrate should be eaten according to the age and the type of work we do and proteins proteins as proteins are body building food it should be eaten by the growing children and adult and sports person also needs lot of protein as they need to build their body vitamins and minerals are important for our uh, vitamins are important for our for our skin as well as the uh, other organs such as eyes so we should take lot of vitamins and minerals are important for bones and teeth so we should take enough amount of minerals and vitamins and minerals are also good source of roughage so we should include lot of fruits and vegetables in our diet now children as we have discussed here milk is a solid food we can say milk is a food which contains all types of all the important nutrients these nutrients are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals that is why it is said to be whole food this is the reason why newborn babies and infants are given only milk for many months balanced diet children as we studied above in the starting of the chapter that our body requires different types of food as different types of food contain different types of nutrients every nutrient is not present in each and every food so we should need eat all types of food a diet or a meal that contains all the nutrients in the current amount along with water and roughage needed for the proper functioning of the body is called balanced diet it should have enough amount of carbohydrates and fats to give us energy as we know the energy which we get from carbohydrates and fat help us to do various activities then enough proteins to help our body grow and repair the wear and tear so protein is very much important for grow growth it is also important for the repair of our body enough vitamins to protect us from diseases as we know vitamins and minerals are protective food they protect our body from the diseases we should eat lot of vitamins and minerals now enough mineral to make us strong and healthy enough water and roughage now here is a pyramid in this pyramid there are different stage, uh, stages which show which food should how we should uh, how what percentage of a particular food should be included are uh, included in our diet Dep depending upon their percentage it is proceeding further in the pyramid at the lower level we have children fruits and vegetables so here we can you can see the picture of fruit and vegetable at the lower level there are lot of fruit and vegetable so at least 40% of our food should have fruits and vegetables so children 
Why? So children, about 40% of the food should have fruits and vegetables because it has enough amount of fiber for the roughage. Then in the next level we have all the cereals or the whole grain which is very important as they are rich in carbohydrates. They pro provide us energy to do work and play. So this is the next then after that comes the pulses or the peas, beans which, which are very important part of the body as it provides protein to our body. All these are rich in protein and protein is one of the important one of the important nutrient which body needs to perform various activities or to show growth and to repair the wear and tear part of the body. The next step is the nuts and the fruit. These are rich in fats as we know. Fat is required in comparatively small amount. So we should eat but it is also very important because the extra fat which we eat gets stored in our body and it can be used later on at the time when we don't get sufficient nutrition, nutrients or sufficient food. Now next step is the herbs. Herbs also play very important in our life. Children many of the herbs help us to cure our Dis uh, cure certain diseases in our body okay so it should also be included in our body and it uh, um, refreshes it refreshes our body and also it gives uh, maintains a temperature of our body now the last one is at the topmost part we have some uh, egg or uh, the milk products which are very much important for our body and it should be included in our body. Other than these children, we should also other than these children, we should also drink a lot of water, eat these foods every day and also we should include more and more fruits and vegetables in our body. Now children, the next part of the chapter is storage and preservation of food. So here in this video, we are going to start our new topic that is storage and preservation of food. As we know, food is very important in our life. It plays important role in the functioning of our, our life. So we must be very careful while eating or while um, eating the food and we should know that the food which we are eating is fit for health or not. So we, we must keep food safe from insects, worms and diseases. So we should, our food should be safe from safe from insects, worms and germs. Food items exposed to dust and insects may cause diseases. Food can be preserved for a longer time and used for later, uh, stored for later use. So children, so children, by following certain steps or the methods, we can uh, keep this food safely for the later use. This keeping safely, uh, keeping the food safely for later use is called preservation. Pre preservation can be done by various methods, by natural or unnatural methods. Here we are going to read about some natural methods where how we, how we can keep the food safely for more than two, three, uh, for few hours, few days or more than that. Now, first one is we can keep food safe by using the following methods. First one is by adding salt. Salt acts as an preservative. For example, it is a natural preservative which by adding in certain food stuffs or the food 
materials can be kept for several months or the year now here if you add salt to uh, some vegetables it can be kept or the fish it can be kept from few months to several years also here um, you must have seen children your mother's preparing pickles by adding lot of sugar now next one is boiling you boiling is another method where we can keep the things by boiling for a not more for few hours for example you must have seen children you must have seen your mother boiling the milk and keeping it for safely for few hours if you don't boil the milk what will happen it will get spoiled as we know after certain time microorganism children microorganism are the the very small uh, germs or the insects or bacteria or fungi which we are not able to see with our naked eyes so these can be um, these are found everywhere it is on their your body or in any food on any food stuff so it may spoil due to the their excretion the food, the food uh, item may get spoiled so if you boil it you will kill these germs and keep the thing for a longer time so here the milk can be kept safely for few hours by boiling boiling kills the germs and prevents it from spoiling spoilage now ref third type is refrigeration and freezing we can keep few things for a longer time in refrigerator or deep freezers as we know at low temperature or at cool places germs do not grow in this way we can keep milk fruits vegetables cooked food in a refrigerator refrigerator for longer time the deep frozen things are kept in deep freezers for example peas and all for longer period of time now addition uh, adding sugar next method is adding sugar extra sugar same as we added salt to the to make pickles and make the uh, fruits for longer keep the fruit for so that we can keep the fruits for longer time here by adding by adding extra sugar in food also acts as a preservative so same as sugar uh, salt sugar can also be used as a preservative extra sugar in food also acts as a preservative we can store fruits for a longer time in the form of jams jellies and murabbas by adding sugar children murabbas um, are made out of amla suppose you are making the murabba of amla many vegetables uh, fruits are used for making murabba but we make use um, if you are making murabba of amla you get amlas only in the winter season and if you want to make it available in all the month so you can make murabbas out of fit and keep it for a longer time and you can use it all over the year so here by adding lot of sugar we can keep these things safely for later use now next one is dehydration dehydration is one of the very common method of preserving the food for longer time you must have seen your mother preparing chips and papad which which can be kept for long duration and without getting spoiled so here by keeping it in the sun children jab hum when we keep these um, potatoes bagra in, in the sun the water content content of these things get evaporated in this uh, due to the action of sun so uh, once the things are not moist it will not be spoiled it can be kept for the longer uh, time so here you can dry um, uh, mangoes or fish tomatoes potato chips can be dried and kept it for a long period of time so here children storage and preservation here we have 
gone through some natural ways of food preservation these are by adding salt by boiling by refrigeration and freezing by adding sugar and by dehydration dehydration is by keeping the things under sun so that its moisture is moisture is removed and the thing can be kept for longer period of time so here children food can be preserved for keep 